everybody. I am Sudrian Studios, also known as Matt. This week we'll discuss trains, folks far apart, and the magic friendship that brings them together. Oh fuck that! Start the intro. Oh, God. I'm Dan. I'm not Matt Shearer. Matt Shearer is Matt Shearer. Jake is not Matt Shearer, and Sean isn't either. We're going to have the introduction, which I'm assuming we've already done. We're going to ask Sean what he does and question him about modelling. We're going to discuss experiences with actual railways and then answer questions. So, right. so Sean, what do you do? I murder people, apparently. Well, that's one of many talents that you possess. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> You didn't murder people, you murdered a woman. I run SI3D, I'm the lead modeler over there. I'm Lewis's boss. I tell Lewis what to do. <laughs> All the time. Um, that's what I do. That would be of any interest to the radio anyway. So, Sean, how... I know that um, Richard Jordan used to run SI3D. How did the change of power or transition occur, and when did that all happen? Well, he brought me on board because I just got talking to him. I did a couple of models for him, and he asked me to come on board. And it was just a case of I started helping, like, having input on more and more of his projects to the point where I was doing most of the work anyway. And then he we basically ran it on an equal basis for a while. Then he de then he decided he left. He went to the American version of university. I believe we call that college. Oh, we do. Yes. <laughs> I did just do air quotes when I said that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's quite a visual thing. It but is. It is no it. good for radio. <laughs> It's a bit shit for audio, let's be honest. Oh, well. Dan, I'm sure <laughs> you can add some, some quoting I... fingers in post, don't worry. <laughs> It'll all come out in the end. That's right, that's right. It's no use pointing fingers, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Sean, how did you actually come about to the, well, Thomas community, in trains at least? Um... I had always been interested in trains, not necessarily the Thomas version of it. I saw one of Richard's videos on YouTube, one of Richard's videos. He didn't do many, but his was actually the first I saw. And I thought, oh, that looks interesting. Went from there. I mean, obviously, like the first ones I used, like everyone else, were MST Noodles models. And I remember thinking, oh my god, these are brilliant. <laughs> Well, I, I, think, like, I think we all did at that point. I think yeah. everyone thought that they were brilliant because they had moving eyes. They did. I remember they them. They blinked eyes. in everything and that wasn't <laughs> creepy at all. <laughs> I was like, whoa, the blinkingness. So uh, had you had any prior experience with uh, 3D Max or any other sort of uh, 3D uh, programming uh, prior to that? No. Mm. <laughs> the first model I ever did was Netford. Oh, okay. So you started short, small and grew into the process? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if Napford was your first model, I'm curious, what was your second? Do you know, it's been that long, I can't remember. Now, which which version of Napford was it? Because I know that back in the old Megandy days, they had sort of assembled some station parts. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, it's not like that. Like that. Like that. But was it? Was it? Yeah, but that's a word. It's history and change. Yeah. Oh, I do actually. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. But uh... okay, now, I had nothing to do with the AGS kits rubbish. Mm -hmm. Mine was the the first dedicated model of Netflix was mine. The proper TVS one. Yeah. Because I remember yeah. thinking the AGS kits looked shit. They did indeed. <laughs> but at the time, they looked great because that's all we had. Well, the, the kits themselves look alright, just as Napford they looked a bit shit. Mm -hmm. I thought, how hard can it be? It turns out, rather. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long then do you reckon that took you to make that first Napford? Because you didn't really know too much about what you were doing back then, and, and compared to, I guess, maybe the 2009, I think, version of Napford that's out now. 2009 was probably about 10, maybe 20 man-hours. 
Um, the first one I did, easily a month's work. Mm, yeah. Just tinkering. Um, just because it seems quite appropriate, because there's a question in the live stream, and I thought I'd better ask it because I've been a bit quiet. If it's not too late to ask a question to Sean, what modelers inspire you, or particular models in general? Mm. Um, that's a good question. I think, in the start, Richard inspired me to get started. I think that's a fair comment. Um, I quite liked the guy, um, LMS man, who did, who now runs GP Locomotives, who does a lot of the LMS stuff. Mm. That... Uh, he was pretty inspiring on it. One of the first logos I purchased was his. And then, I think into what ins inspired me maybe in a bad way was probably Paul's trains. <laughs> oh, how so? <laughs> well, I, de I bought something and went, Jesus Christ, people pay for this shit. <laughs> 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 and so I said, Sh surely I could do better. And I really did. hope you're going to put something in the post, Dan. Yes, I probably will put something in the post. It'll all work out in the edit. Dan is just psyching himself up because it's the Doctor Who finale today and he's not emotionally prepared for it yet. No, I'm not! It's true! <laughs> <laughs> That's why Sadrian Radio started extra early this week. It's because yeah, I'm I not... Did this. Don't say that wasn't noticed, Dan. I, I think the <laughs> shuttle... The subtle differences. And you know what? I've read the spoilers from America. Oh my. Oh no! <laughs> so, <laughs> Dan has to behave himself a now. Bit of of <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's well, not good. Do you know what? I can cope with this. <laughs> I'm ready for the <laughs> <laughs> The cliffhanger's <laughs> Assume the fetal position, Dan. Just let it go. I've been the fetal position <laughs> for the last week. <laughs> um, so, Sean, then, I guess, after after you did Knapford, um, is there any particular sort of route specifically or section of track that you worked on, made buildings for, or perhaps engines? What came next after the initial sort of conversion from the old uh, AJS kits to your own Knapford, your own... Models. The next building I remember making that was of any significance was probably the was probably Tidmouth. Mm. Um, I did the name boards. What a fun afternoon that was! <laughs> yeah, and I just started looking into like rolling stock and things like that. So which, um, then I guess, moving on to rolling stock and, and engines, which, um, from the old 2006 site, what did you make and, and what did uh, Richard Oh, make? God, I'll have to actually open up the website to remind myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few. <laughs> you know, I was also going to say that you also have a bunch of people posting in the community, but let's be honest, the only people good there are Aaron. Well, sorry, sorry the only... <laughs> People good there are Aaron. Yeah, because Aaron. I could pull you upon person. grammar or or the hundreds of people you're ignoring. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say something about that, Matt. I think you're being incredibly generalistic. I think there are very good modelers out there that just you're given right. some time and effort they can do good things. You're right, I'm lying. I know that Nico's really good. Name dropper, name dropper. Well, I've, I've already dropped let's, Aaron's let's name. Just, let's just not say Aaron and Ben, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Ben sucks. Yeah, Ow. but that's another, that's another story. <laughs> 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 we all know about his pony obsession. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> all right, the rolling stock I made the 06 site was... I made the tank wagons, salt wagons, flat wagon mail vans and the Christmas tree. I didn't make a whole lot for the 06 site. Mm. But I was pre I was involved with a lot of Richard models but the ones that are just mine were those ones. Mm. Alright, I've got a question. What was the first locomotive you have actually made? Hmm. Could it be one of the railway series? 
It yeah. was probably Railway Series Thomas, actually. Probably the first one I did. So I made the generic E2s from that. Oh. Um, the, the only then there was Gordon, but that wasn't mine. That was one that Bob of fame in the community or infamy depends if you like him or not. Beg, um, practically begged me to make, but then got the mesh from Paul Hobbs and said, "Look, just just use that." Okay. <laughs> Looking back, I wish I'd made it myself because I'm pretty certain I could have done a better job if I'd made it from scratch. Yeah, it it wasn't it wasn't a terrible Gordon. I think that the smoke effect that was used for that model was, let's be honest, a bit mad. But I uh, yeah. I look back on a lot of them, and some of it was quite terrible. So. <laughs> One of the interesting things is that you're you've actually worked on heritage railways as a voluntary person. Which Not for is... some time now, but yeah, I did. I have but you 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 did. Don't yeah. undermine the question. Uh, um, <laughs> So what did you do, and where did you volunteer, as it were? As it were. I volunteered at the mid Hand Railway. Um, I did quite a few things, actually. I was I, I was a loco cleaner, fireman, signalman, guard, station porter, whatever, really. Okay, and what a did lot you of enjoy? the station-oriented stuff was quite early on, but then I went, did a show cleaner, did a few firing turns. I was fortunate enough to get a few cheeky driving turns in when I wasn't supposed to, but less I know about that the better. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you enjoy most of all of that experience? The people, like the general atmosphere of working with all those guys, it was, it was a lot of fun. It, it's something for you to do, guys. Yeah. You too can you. be a rabbit volunteer. Go and get dirty and tired and injured for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing for the but sake no of the rabbit. Pain, no health well, benefits. If you put it like that, where do I sign up? What fun. Um, so what uh, What engines did you work with? What engine did you fire? Or engines? Um, I fired the standard class 5. Hmm. And the one I drove was um, Wade Bridge. Oh. The West Country class. Wade Bridge went to Ruddington last a week or two ago, or well, last week. He... Did she? She what? failed. Dan's got a of special place did. for Wade Bridge. Dan just Wade Bridge fails on a weekly basis. What did they replace her <laughs> with at your uh, at your gala, Dan? An austerity. Oh. The image was very much the same. They're both green. Uh... And therefore, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dan, the rail enthusiast, sharing his. <laughs> technical expertise His there. Intimate knowledge of all things steam powered. <laughs> they chuffed and were green. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Henry or Percy, perhaps. Have you uh. seen the new green engine yet? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you Wade Bridge? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so then, Sean, I guess because because your um, experience with driving and, and, you know, actually working on a steam railway. Has that influenced at all how you've modelled? Because I, I know that you very tediously stick to the television series, but you've also added things such as head codes and maybe other little details that people don't really notice. Yeah, that's just more the rail enthusiasm. I mean, you don't really have to be a driver or a fireman just to get that. Mm. It's, you know, it's, if, you, only if you're a rail enthusiast, you'll sort of get start to get the details. you just got to... Um, Depends what your hobby is, really. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, no, this is Sudrin Radio. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Things. We're supposed to talk about Thomas, remember? Um, <laughs> so, uh, maybe then maybe then we could discuss uh, the future of the iOS, then. What sort of plans... Uh, not the iOS, of, of SI3D. What sorts of uh, plans or, or things do you want to do? Do you have a mind to do? Um... What'll make everybody happy? I just want to carry on with what make things that haven't been made or that I haven't made rather that I'd like to continue with the iOS. Quite like to try and implement a few things to recreate like a decent community. I think if there's any place that a decent community can happen, it's probably on SI3D. But unfortunately, that means it's going to have to get worse before it gets better, because you've got to kick certain asses and cause certain dramas before anything like that will actually mm -hmm. happen. 
Maybe we could talk about that then. So a lot of people maybe don't know what's going on <clears throat> on the forums. Um, and obviously in the, I guess, maybe six months or, or four months since the last, the old Sadrian Radio, when we talked about the fandom and, and oh, just yeah. the state of affairs. But let's be honest on. here, that wasn't talking, that was bitching. Well, a bit, uh. yeah. <laughs> but uh, obviously things haven't improved much. Um, and without maybe dropping any names to be politic about it. Um, ha <laughs> have there been points at which um, you've just wanted to close the forums really, or, or just not even deal with it? Because I, I, I know it's I know it's been very bad these last maybe six months or so. I mean, yeah, there have been like at least once every couple of weeks I consider closing the forum completely and just giving up. Mm -hmm. Because you get people who... Basically, I think the problem is a lot of people take this whole thing too damn seriously. Like it was said all those months ago, it is, at its best, a hobby, you know, and, and it only takes one bad apple to ruin the bunch, and I think well, that, it's that... like people need to learn to take a joke, and some people do need to learn when you're taking it too far. It's not just that too, but it's backseat moderating. I noticed that's been a very big issue of late, and yeah. people. I mean, we can, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to pull some names out there. I will name drop. I don't give a toss. People hate me anyway, so. Well, you are a murderer. Oh, okay. well, exactly. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be worried if you liked a murderer. So. <laughs> but this whole Jim the J50 nonsense. I've never really taken a side on that, taken a side, because as far as I can understand, it's one individual getting really pissed off because they made a character which they weren't very happy with and it didn't go, and it didn't magically go away after they put it out there in public. And because of that, and it started off as just a joke because it was obviously a shitty character that it got out, but that happens. Whenever you outsource to something else, the minute it's on the internet, some if the, if the original model doesn't go around, someone, and there are plenty of them, will make a replica just to fuck with you. So it's no point getting all shitty about it. Take the joke. But then it's, it goes from that. But then because they continue to take it so seriously, the joke stops being about what it was originally and it just becomes about the reaction they get from the person it's aimed at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It becomes... Um really Person. bullying or trolling at, at its best. Yeah. yeah, and I look at it and I see people crying because it's just because, oh, I want to forget about it. It's such a... Why should it be such a bad point in your life? It's fucking trends. It shouldn't be that important. It shouldn't stick out in your life. It should be... Oh, you know, it should be an afterthought. But because people take it so seriously, I take issue with that. And I'm like, no, fuck you. If you want to start take, taking it seriously, then you... Um, get what comes with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And obviously, I know there are people who take it, take advantage of that, and they like to think themse themselves as superior to what they call noobs. Well, exactly. It's it's policing that they do, and then they get called yeah. out, and then they but, they're uh, surprised that they're that, being reprimanded for. It's not just that there are people who think that they're above all this. Probably people who are nodding and agreeing with me now who do it, thinking they're just having a joke when really they take it too far as well. So there is fault on most sides, to a degree. But I think it it would all start to fall into line if people would learn just not to take it so seriously to start with. Mm -hmm. Well, and the saddest thing really about it is that there's really not much we can do uh, to, to solve the issue. It's, it's people's problems, it's personal issues that come out on, let's say, the forums or some other website. Um, if I, if I could control who did or didn't get to use my models, like once I put them out there, if I could, if I could invent a way that you had to, only people I approved could use them, I would. Hmm. It's gotten that bad. And but unfortunately, with trains, it's either you make them and put them out there, or you do private models just for people. And there's always a chance of them getting out, but you take that risk. I'm sorry, if you give a model out to anyone, if it leaks, you've only got yourself to blame unless you're really close friends with the person you gave it to. Mm -hmm. It's 
I don't know, it's, it's just all... It's all bollocks, really. <laughs> it is. Well, and, and two, it's, it's the fact that because because of the age of the fan base and perhaps the maturity um, therein, um, um, people are always just, oh, go on. Just, Dan. just sorry, sorry, Jake. Just because I'm looking at the live stream, I think Aaron Aaron's nodded and said you could send it to everyone personally, Sean. Yeah, because um, I have that, that sort of time. Yeah. <laughs> I think Aaron meant it sarcastically. Just to just to establish this to the person who said exactly, Aaron. Sarcasm. You can't. No. Yeah. It's it's. You can't. Right. Germans cannot do sarcasm. Aaron, <laughs> stop it. I think you'll find that Aaron is one of the most sarcastic people. Ever. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't pull it off because he's German. <laughs> <laughs> The same way Dan's Geordie accent is really bad. <laughs> oh, Dan, you've derailed my train of thought. Ha! But no, really, I, I don't remember what I was even talking about. So, um, unless we have anything else to discuss on the state of the fandom, uh, perhaps we should... Well, how far in are we? Should we move on to questions just yet? Or... We're um, about half an hour in. Okay. Uh -huh. Are there any future plans of expanding SI3D that we could know about? No. Okay. Question for Sean. What are your least what are your favorite and least favorite trains models you've ever made? I probably my least favorite is um railway series Gordon just cuz it's not mine. And I really regret that I made that. My favourite? No, I'm just trying to remind myself of all the ones I've actually done. <laughs> it's a long list. It is now, anyway. Mm. I don't know. I don't really have a favourite, so for the sake of arm, we'll just say, it's duck, okay? Uh, okay, it's duck. <laughs> right, that's... that's built that awkward moment in quite easy. For everyone, mm -hmm. we'll go around in an order that I'll choose vaguely. For everyone, are there any non-Thomas-related projects you would all like to do? If so, what are your plans? Um, Sean, you're the guest. <laughs> well, me and Lewis have done a couple, started a couple of projects which we never finished. Like, we started to create a fully like Pacific, which we got a little way into, and that sort of fizzled out because we got bogged down with doing stuff for SI3D and that just pissed us off so then we just didn't do anything else. Okay. Matthew. I would really love to do the Talakin Railway. Engines start can route. Jake. Um, I used to um, when, I, when I was a young lad with Trains 06 and a young lad. This is about four years ago or so. I used You're turning to, into Ben. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Um, I <laughs> I used to just make routes that weren't based on anything, and I would name all the stations, and I would do what I wanted. And I think if I I I might want to do something like that again, just make a fake railway that has no historical meaning, and just do what I want. Me personally, because I didn't think this was a tr trains type question at all. I'd like to do more live action, like because I do things that aren't related to Thomas Shock Horror, and um, so I'd like to do a bit more of that in the future. Well, you have a splendid detective series going on right now, Dan. So I, it's very good. Yes, <laughs> and no doubt I will add a picture of myself. So this question wasn't just trains related. No. Ah. Oh, well, just, are there any non-Thomas related projects? So, I I'd assume like to finish my garden railway then. <laughs> oh, my God. You have a I need to weather to do that. Um, no, I've got a double O gauge garden railway going on. I need to finish it, but I need the weather in order to finish it. What sorts of engines do you run on it? Um, well, at the minute I've got a T9, a standard 3. Um, 
think that's oh and an A4 and I think that's all I've got for the minute. Mm. Oh and a Deltic. They've not been out in so long, I've forgotten about which sort of ones I've got. <laughs> I've got a rake of six blood and custard monster coaches and a rake of six blood and custard mark ones. That sounds like a good mix. You've got a little bit of everything. I'll focus on the stock and like start buying the stock that I want once the railway's up and running, you know, just it's point I've always thought it pointless to start buying trains until I've got something to for them to run on. What are your favourite Thomas stories slash episodes? Um, Sean. Um probably Better Late Than Never might be my favourite. Oh, okay. Matthew. Pretty much anything from Duck in the Diesel Engine. Okay then, Jake. Well, thanks. <laughs> I'd it's say... such a standard answer. <laughs> it really is. I'd say, I think, Wrong Road. That really captures sort of the Audrey style. And it's just, it's a good story. I, I, wrong Road. Mm -hmm. Okay then, for me it's Edward X, Edward's Export because Edward is awesome. Question for me, when is it okay to kill a character off? From a Goldwood Thomas, whoever that fuck Who's, card is. Yeah. Right. It's basically, it's okay to kill a character off when there will be an impact on the audience or other characters. There. It's when it has an impact. Or, it will if, or, or it if your actor sort of quits. Oh yeah, or oh. if you hate the character. <laughs> it, it's got to have an impact in some way if you're going to kill them off. Well, what is the design process like for every single item ye make in trains? Ye make? The design process. <laughs> That's what it says! Good grief. Well, considering someone else actually designed it, and I'm just sort of recreating it for the most part, I don't think you can really call it a design process. If you call it build, I suppose if you know about the actual building of it, um, for ones where I can try and create some sort of plans, I will, and I'll put them in, and I'll sort of work off those. For a lot of the TV series stuff, though, you just have to work through Artie, so I'll do a bit of work. The community, will, the community will piss me off, so I'll stop for a while. Then when I've gotten over it, I'll start again. The community will piss me off. That's why these things take so long. It's because the community doesn't know how to, If the community had a bit more respect for each other, I'd probably feel more happier about doing it. And the tragic thing is, there'd be a, probably a lot more content on the website. A question for Sean. You're popular. Out of all your rail series models you've made, <laughs> which is your favourite and which is your least favourite? Um, I'm dying a little inside every time. Well, that's okay. Well, 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 Gordon is the one I don't like for the reasons I've already stated. Probably Henry, just because it's the closest to an actual locomotive. Barry right. Thomas. I just don't like Thomas. For teaser E2, which brings us neatly on to the next question. Question for all, what's the best shunting tank and worst? Sean, sorry. Best shunting um, yeah. tank... It's hard to say because you each different tanks were designed for different situations. So more powerful ones were designed for yards on hills. Different ones were designed for different sorts of track work, different sorts of coal. So the best overall, considering they were designed for wartime use and weren't designed to last, is probably the USA's. Okay, they I thought you'd say that actually. They lasted quite a long time. They. They worked really well. They they had a short wheelbase, which meant they could go around corners. You could argue that there was a that pannier tank that the that looks a bit like it that the Western region made, hmm. right, Western Railway made rather, was that. But it was essentially a copy of the USA's. And of and course, the well, USA well, tank has been. No, um, wow, well, I'm, I'm I'm keeping with this USA thing. The USA dock tank has been immortalised as Brad, which is hmm. yes. I just thought I'd add that because it's important that you know this, people. Hooray. And it's, it's coming up in a the TV series. It's <laughs> also yeah. That's not the point. And Keeping then away from that. And the worst one, actually, yeah, E2 was one of the worst ones. 
it was it was all right. It was a capable shunter, but it wasn't designed as a shunter. It was tested on passenger use. It was heavy on coal, heavy on water, as were most Billington machines actually. But it was quite a poor locomotive, really. Which is why it gets me annoyed when they go, "Oh, let's make an E2 tank engine, guys." Yeah. Yeah, let's make a useless machine which is going to cost millions of pounds just for the sake of having it as Tamas. Okay. Well, Matt. <laughs> Come, go to Jake. Get me Jake me before you answer. Um, I don't know too much about British steam engines, but I will say, I think my favourite, um, or the most, or the best rather, I should say, uh, tank engine would probably be. I think the Great Western uh, 57XX, the Panio tank, um, only because I've seen footage, and I don't know which harbour this was, but um, there was a very large, steep, steep embankment going from the actual yard down to the harbour, and I saw a single Panio tank, or maybe it was two Panio tanks, I can't remember, I'll find the footage if I can, you can put it in the video, but um, shunting this massive um, rake of wagons up this incline with no trouble at all, and I thought, wow, you know, that's, that's thought, pretty wow, impressive. That's wow, that's a pannier over there. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I think so. Um, and do you want seem... me to come back to you yet, Matt? Yes, or are you still yes. thinking? No, 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 I've got it, because, because I'm going to say, not necessarily the worst, but the one that I don't like is the E2. Okay. Well, you haven't said your favourite yet. Exactly. I think the best would be the uh, Gentis. I would agree with you, actually. Um, quite fond of because they were the workhorse during the war. For the war department, at least. Okay. Um, someone you know, said that the Panniers were more of a workhorse than the Gentis. Admittedly, yes, but... The panniers don't count. They're more Why free not? steaming, they're more reliable and more power powerful. That, you, yeah, you guys need to make a better salty because the old one is slow and not reliable and the light. Oh no, that's Lewis. Oh, oh well. <laughs> we still oh. need to make a new better salty because no, the old one is I don't need to make reliable. anything. So the old salty is like Toby? Yeah. He's rich. You know, got lots of money. Yeah, and can't take a fucking joke. <laughs> Moving. Who voices Bertie in the little trailers you guys make? Well, I think. God bless it. Why not? Where is the Bertie? Bertie actor, come into the chat because I've dragged you into the conversation to say hello. Bertie actor. Bastard. Oh, he said I no. I didn't plan this. Well, George is dead. But either way, he is the one who does voicey things. Let's just kick him out because Yay. no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> that was an obviously successful maneuver. I'll dub his voice over. It should properly. And we'll successful. move on to the next question. What is your favourite trains route to travel on, and what is your least favourite, Sean? Sorry. What, what is that? your favourite? What is your favourite trains route to travel on? I don't have one because I don't really. Playing trains. I'm assuming that means you won't have a least favourite either. No. Okay then. Matthew. I don't really have a favourite because I see it, trains as a tool for things that I put on YouTube. Okay then. Jake. I'd say my railway series Tidmouth that I'm building, not only because I like the track work that I've done, but it's also because I can see... Track does look good. I can. Oh, thank mm. you. I appreciate that. I can see sort of what goes where in very blank areas. I know what I want to do, and it's oh, fine. So. Is your favourite route to drive on, Dan? <laughs> oh, I don't know. the iOS. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. And now it's long enough to run on the route. Uh, yeah, well, uh, when you asked me what I do, one of the, I forgot one of the things I do, which is for you guys, is I um I do the reviews on the subject. Oh. Community. Yeah, we should talk about that maybe. Well, that's that that's coming an hour later than we asked the question. <laughs> no, anyway, go on. Better late than never, Mr. Matthew. Yes. Anyway. Um. Yeah. And it turns out earlier, I was right yet wrong about the salty thing. Because, yeah, oh, fuck it, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. It's Lewis's 
said let's make a salty and someone agreed with him and then it, now it's all spiraled into comic proportions anyway next question for Sean how did you come up with the idea for Brad I didn't <laughs> to put it simply he's who, not my character who did then maybe we'll talk about that someone on the ER some ERS author I don't even know who that is you're a terrible I evaluator. I just, well, no, I just got permission off. I don't think he's involved with the ERS anymore. That's how long ago the character was created. I think Ryan handles like the permissions and stuff for it now. He's, just he's the one there. who asked about. Well, it, yeah. actually, it was Eric who asked about Brad being made. Yeah. And he's become quite popular on the YouTubes. Yeah, in, even in his... You can't trust him. <laughs> well, yes. He's a damn Italian, and he's involved with a mafia. Don't <laughs> trust him. If he offers you candy, run away. <laughs> well, I shall bear that in mind. And for Sudrian Radio in general, what guests do you plan on featuring? I don't know! Who do we plan on featuring next? Um, Me! <laughs> yeah! Um, I was thinking... I'd, I'd like to get some more people outside of the trains community. I, I think, since it is a Thomas talk show in general, maybe some actual modelers or, I don't know, something like that. We could get Jackie okay. and I don't know Live what we talk up. about. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Personally, uh, I'd like to get Callum in. I'd like to have Callum It'd be as a guest. That. It would be interesting. Just because that'd be an interesting show. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to find out the man beneath the child. public face. Yeah. That is Callum. Um. Okay then. Question for Sean. Oh, this is quite technical apparently. How difficult was getting the reflective textures on the smaller details of the updated models? What process did you use? Well, I'm not going to give away my secrets. Oh. But it, it was no different to the, to you to putting the reflective textures on the bigger details. It's the same process. What is your favourite preserved railway and favourite steam loco? Sean. My favourite preserved railway is probably the Matance Railway. Favourite steam loco, is that steam loco or preserved steam loco? Um, oh, I think it means, I don't know, it just says favourite steam loco. I'm assuming it's preserved. Give both. Let's have a treat. My favourite steam loco is probably the um, Bully Merchant Navy, unrebuilt. Okay. My favourite preserved steam like though is probably the T9. Okay then. Matthew? Um, favourite preserved steam look? I, I, I'm gonna go back to the telecom and say Dolgok. Okay then. But, but my absolute favourite locomotive in general is the, um, I pr I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but the Ibit 3X. If that's right. 3X? X. F. 3F. I put three. Yeah. That, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Okay then. I'm not sure what an Ivet three F is, but we'll oh, find four a MTs, picture. Four MTs. Four MTs. That's what it is. Thank you, oh. George. Okay. Ivet four MTs. Okay. There we Jake. Go. Um, my favourite preserved railway. I would have to say I I'm quite fond of. Welsh narrow gauge, so I'd probably say either the Talaclin or Fastiniog. Um, Fastiniog maybe more so because it's a bit longer of a line, I think. Um, and I'd say my favourite steam engine. I, I'm quite fond of the uh, the nine Fs. I, I like them. The big. Okay. Um, I've got to say my favourite preserve railway would be the Midland Railway Centre at Butterley. Um, yeah. And is favorite it Butterly, Butterly? steam loco? It is Uchili Butchili. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite steam loco? I feel a bit cheesy for saying this, but Flying Scotsman. Sorry. Um, no, no. Yeah, nothing to apologize for. Jeez. It's a great loco. I'm looking forward to seeing it back in steam. Okay, the next question. Who would you who read masses of arguments from people who have no idea what they're talking about? <laughs> It's always amazing how many backseat uh, engine drivers there are on, on, on YouTube. She should Just be putting the NRM! Just stop, stop and mount it! Stop, 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 stop it now! Stop again! 
next question is who you like to see railway series stories in the TV series again? And if you do, which ones? Okay, phrase that so I can understand it. Do you want to see railway series stories in TVS? Hell no. Okay then. If so, which ones? <laughs> Not applicable. <laughs> okay, I think then. they could probably um, convert the entirety of Mountain Engines into a special. I'd quite like to see that. Hmm. I wouldn't be against that. <laughs> oh, no, no, Matt. You, you've said your piece. None of them. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> right, so, yeah. Got to stick with that. Um, Jake? I think that with these new streamlined engines that they've got, Connor and Caitlin, I think they missed an opportunity to reintroduce Pip and Emma. I think that those could have been maybe interchangeable. That would have been interesting to see. I don't know. Put those two streamlined engines at the opposite ends of the train and they, you've got Pip and Emma. <laughs> they could do. Um... Well, the the only problem I have with that question is that most of the Christopher Audrey stuff was eventually made into te- uh, a lot of it was the, most of the Christopher Audrey specials were made for television for that express purpose and they they hit on all of the standard Audrey stuff that the first twenty six books fairly well in the first three or four seasons so I don't know I I I I'm fine with them doing new stories as long as they're good you know if if it was still the five minute format. I'd say yeah, because I think the first three stories of James and the Diesel Engines would work well, because, to be honest, Deep Freeze is boring as hell. Mm. Mm. But but since it's ten minutes, you'd have to drag... I think you'd drag it out for I too think, long. I think we spoke about it the other week, but I'd like to see something like uh, Thomas and the Great Railway Show. That'd be a special idea yeah. with actual engines and history. <laughs> Actual <engine>. history. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sounds like Lewis. Question is from Lewis because I've decided to look at the stream. He said, "Scone or scone? Scone or scone, Sean? Scone, Matt. Scone, Jake. Uh, I like scone." I was about to ask myself the exact same question. <laughs> scone uh, or scone, <laughs> Dan? <laughs> well. <laughs> um. No. It depends. I've never really listened to myself talking about scones or scones, so I haven't got a definitive answer on the issue. A couple of questions from a person called Joe Gibbons. This one's for me. Having watched some of your original stuff, is there a chance you'll be seeing your own character? You won't be seeing Splutter for a while, probably, because he's, he's a bit of a crap character. You won't be seeing Tetley again, ever, because I don't want to ruin Tetley. You will be seeing the Ghost Engine, because... I said I'd follow up the Halloween special, and I will this Halloween. For Jake, what do you enjoy about making music? Uh, before I answer that, Dan, do you ever think that Tetley will get a cameo? I I quite like to see Tetley again. That's why he'll never possibly. Yeah, I, I think I he's, don't know. A, he's a good me character. And, me and Matt Cooper worked out like a sequel story on Thomas's branch line. But it was hard to work out how to make it not a rip-off. And that's the thing with sequels. Mm. It's so, like how I don't think Wallace and Gromit's ever gotten better than the wrong trousers. So what ever. you're saying, Dan, is you don't want Tetley to appear in things because you're trying to save the character. So if I made a really crude trains model of Tetley and started giving it to everyone and putting it in screenshots, <laughs> would you get really childish and, get, and cry like a big girl? I would cry like a very small girl, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the details right here. Oh, my. Well, we wouldn't want history to, history to repeat itself, would we? We've already had enough of that. <laughs> and here we go. Every single vo- Skype chat with yeah. Dan begins with a little weep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So what am I supposed to be answering, Dan? I'm sorry. What do you enjoy... What do you enjoy most about making music? Um, I like I like getting helpful feedback from some people who actually have the credibility to do so. Um, I, I like improving my music and hearing what others have to say about it. Next question. Oh, how, if you could preserve a class of locomotive, which one and why? Go on, Sean, answer the question. What question? I, I, was, I was distracted. <laughs> oh no, it's it's completely fine that you were distracted because that's terrible. You what? didn't come on Sudrian Radio to, to talk, talk to us about Thomas Snow. 
Um, um, the, the question was, so, what sort of preserved engine would you like to see? Or, or what, what kind of engine, if you could, any engine, would you preserve or, or want preserve. to see back into steam again? Steam. Um, I'm not sure. A lot of the ones I like have been preserved. Um, I'd quite like to see the Fury. That would be quite good. Okay, um, Matt? Uh, I've already said it's my favorite class of all time, the four MTs. Okay, Jake? I couldn't name any specific class, but I quite like, um, industrial tank engines. There were a lot of very varying and unique designs between manufacturers, and I think some, they're all just very, um, individualized, and so I'd like to see something like that, maybe. Personally, I'd like to see a th standard 3MT because I quite like the look of them. The building one. Yeah. I know they are, but that's not the point. It's still not built it, it yet. Kind of <laughs> is the point. It's not <laughs> built yet. It didn't survive into preservation. Shut up. Go on then, Dan. Oh yeah. Next question. Um, have you considered? Have you ever considered making any trains content tugs related? Sean? No. Matthew? No. I don't like boats. Um, Jake? I want OJ. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Someone make OJ. Uh, no, have you ever considered making it? No, I can't model. Somebody make it for me. I want OJ. Oh. <laughs> make me um, OJ, I'm please. Uh, okay then. Who is your favorite Tugs character? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Favorite Tugs character. Oh, I think um, Zip. Okay, Matt. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, don't remember him. Could you top. remind what episode he was in? Oh, uh, top hat. <laughs> I'd have to. I'd say. <gasps> oh, I say hello. <laughs> I say hello. <laughs> I'm quite. Um, I don't know. And Billy Shoe Pack's always entertaining. If I could answer seriously, I I think um, Sea Rogue. I, I quite like that. Zero. You'd like you'd like the megaphone. Mm -hmm. No, no, Sea Rogue, the the pirate. Oh, Sea Rogue. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> right. Who is your favourite Thomas character and why? Should probably have said and why last time, but meh. Percy, because um, it doesn't exist. Stop lying to me. It's not a documentary, Dan. We've been through this. No, we haven't. But for fuck's sake, Sean. It's real life, real events. Look, it's the island of Sodor does, does not exist. It's fucking real. It is. Get over it, Dan. There are things outside your house that you can go and enjoy. You don't have to keep going on about Thomas. No, I do. Dan just starts singing, A magical land where the <laughs> dreams go <come> true. <laughs> no, Dan. Go outside. The, the, I don't care what they told you. The sun is not bad for your skin. You can go play with real trains, Dan. You can go and no. meet real people. Real people are overrated. Uh, no, they're just over you. Come what? out and jungle with them. Um, Dan having a social life. Uh. <laughs> if Lewis can manage it, you can. But Lewis right. has Joseph. Lewis has the hair to get away with it. <laughs> the hair and the fair. <laughs> oh my! And he has Joseph to give tender loving care to. Joseph I was going he, has to, to he has Joseph to hold his hand through the entire thing. Favorite favorite Thomas character. Matt, go. Okay, moving on. Jake, go. Um, <laughs> I would say... Let's see. I think um, maybe Bill and Ben. I know that's two, but they're basically the same person. Um, they're just... That's <laughs> they're just fun. Meet Edward, because Edward is awesome. What do you think is better created and thought out of the two programs? What? What do you think is better created and thought into or out of the two programs? In terms of writing for its audience, probably Thomas, because it appeals 
it's more successful. It appealed to its audience better. Uh, I, yeah. I do agree with. You. Yeah, I'd say uh, that because because Thomas. Has... That said, I think I think Tugs had a lot of love and attention put into it by the crew who made it, mm-hmm. and it also had a lot of potential. It just wasn't realised yeah. in the first season. That's all. It was just it. They're two different beasts, as it were. You can tell they loved working on Tugs. Yeah, I, I I'd agree with that. There was a lot of attention put into both, but I, I would just say Thomas because of the simple reason that it's still an active, you know, it's still going. So. Okay. That said, I keep going on about how I prefer Thomas. I don't have an original Thomas prop sat here in my bedroom, so. Well, just keep. Good night, ten cents. Good night, sunshine. Mm-hmm. They're in a little gold. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's filming the new series of Tugs. Oh, God. <laughs> this is me with the three <laughs> of the entire cast I've got, and I'm just trying to make do in the bar. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to be Grampus, and your face just pops out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ones I've got doesn't even have a face. <laughs> I'm sure you can correct that with sellotape and paper. <laughs> I'll just get my dog and I'll stick its head through the hole in the wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the question. What did you feel when you heard about David Mitten's death back around 2008? My answer to this, breaking the order, is that I didn't really care. In the nicest possible way, it didn't affect me. I, I thought it was sad, I mean, not because I was quite aware who, who David Mitten was at the time. But that's I was sad. I was, a, I was aware, and I wasn't, it wasn't like it's brown I felt hair. nothing, but I didn't, it didn't it's strike me. <laughs> See, I can understand that, Dan. When I heard about it, I was like, oh, that's kind of sad. But then when George Carlin died, I was like, no! Damn it! Yeah, I... I thought about that when I, when I learned. I only realised the other day that Christopher Hitchens had died. I was like, oh, oh he he had died. Uh, I think at around Christmas time, didn't he? Not not terribly. Yeah, long. I was like, that is fucked up. Mm-hmm. He was a good man. He was. He was awesome. Yeah. Um, this is, this he was like the English I... George Carlin. <laughs> oh. I, I well, that answers my question. I don't know who that is. I'd have to say that I was I was genuinely sad. I mean, I, I, I knew that he he was not individually responsible, but definitely had a very big part in what I consider to be the better series of Thomas, and and I thought that it was um, it was just sad. I, 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 I knew he was responsible for the things that I liked as a kid, and we all have to go sometime, but yeah. Oh, a load of questions. Fun. Right. What would you like to see most in King of the Railway? Characters that aren't American. Okay, then. Sean? No, it's a fucking Uh, show that takes place on an island in Britain. There shouldn't be fucking American characters. Um... Just, you know, I actually know my friend's name in the credits. Okay. Actually, uh, that is going to be the highlight for me. Okay. Jake? Um, I don't know. I, I quite like new locations. I, I like that they're trying to do the Vickerstown Bridge, implying that there's something over there, you know, <laughs> on the mainland. Um, but... Yeah, I, I, I think that location is uh, going to be an interesting thing when it comes to that movie. Personally, I'm looking forward to... Money! No, no response. No, no surprise! surprise! I may be old, but I'm not vassal. Coming, sir! <laughs> Coming, sir! Ta-da! That's me! I present to you Sir Robert Noramby! Ta-da! <laughs> I may be old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, favorite Tugs episode? Munitions, because it all blew up. <laughs> Matt, 
<laughs> that was awesome. The one My where I blew up Knapford Harbor. Not you, Jake. The it's on my channel. Okay, oh, I myself. died. Oh, um, um, Jake. I was fond of um, High Tide. That was a good one. I personally would go for Trapped because it has Billy Shupak and Top Pat saying, "Oh, hello." Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. It's it's. I find it. It's just fun. And I'd love it if someone hints, hints, remade that music when it explodes, and the water. Yeah, hint, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never get anything out of Ben, Dan. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, that is what she said. Mm. Flying Scotsman or a new build A3, Sean. Flying fucking Scotsman. If you think Scotsman's a waste of money, surely having spent all this money then to stuff it is an even bigger waste of money. Matt. I completely agree with Sean because Jake, it doesn't make any sense. Scotsman to the end. Mm -hmm. Scotsman. Favourite Christmas model rapper. made for trains. <sighs> Sean. Oh, I don't know. It's duck. Okay, it's duck. Ooh. God. Dance, you like no. no, um, I knocked my controller and suddenly one of the engines started moving. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought it was gonna nosedive off the desk. Um. <laughs> it, would be a shame. it would be a, it would be a real shame if, you know, your brand new James stopped working. It would be, unfortunately James is second hand. So, <laughs> <laughs> Matt's favourite Thomas model made for trains. Okay. Um, <laughs> go, come back to me because that's that's a tough one. Solid oh. answer. Okay then, Jake, your favourite. Uh, I was very fond of your Gordon model, Sean, just because of that pantograph. That dome makes me happy. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's good. It's very very good. I, I'm a little biased. Gordon's my favourite, but I, eh, it's it's a solid model. Percy because of scarves. <laughs> scarves. Well now, you, well, now that you've said Percy, I can't very well say Percy. So it's your cat, Edward. It's not. A game. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Actually, oh, I'm going to change Edward's whistle to goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Percy, do you want me to send that over? But then I remembered. I have. I've got it already. <laughs> Favorite Hornby Thomas model. Now, as far as I'm aware, when we have only made one model of Thomas, with varying faces, admittedly, so you get to choose which face you like best, technically. Yeah, Thanks, look Dan. at me being a slight smartass. I'm quite fond of the Hornby 040 Thomas. I think that was probably the best of their range. Uh, I'm, I quite liked Hornby Henry. So that was probably the closest to a railway series model that there, there was. Uh, I'd say Hornby Toby because it's fucking mahusive. Yes, that's what makes it the best. <laughs> yes. Size isn't everything, Matt. Okay, okay. Well, well, it's well, slow, well. just like the real It's code. not the best, but it's my favourite. Okay, then, you freak of nature. Um, I don't know what my favourite would be. I kind of want to say Thomas. Then say it! Thomas! Um, opinions on the future of the Hornby Thomas range. It doesn't have one. Matt? Um, what Sean said, because my cat just jumped on my arm and it scared me. It's a good thing Good thing to know that your cat affects your opinion in such ways. It does. Jake? Is the, is the next range announced? Like, I don't even know what it no, would be. No, it's just your opinion on how it'll go in the future. Um, they'll keep making... Good things like Murdoch and crappy things like Emily. It's just putting faces on engines they already have. Okay. Um, I think that it won't progress if they keep on losing so many key characters like Henry and I think it's Gordon was lost. And Duck. See? And Duck, yeah. Um Okay, that's the next one. Next question. Amazingly funny video as always. What? That a wasn't, success? That wasn't the um, question. Alright. Uh, uh, your least favourite Tugs episode. 
all the all fan the ones. ones. Which one? All what? the fan made ones. Okay. Matt? I was just gonna I was gonna say all of them. Jake. Salty's lighthouse. All of it. What? I agree with Salty's lighthouse. Because Oh yeah. It was What it was, is your favourite Thomas episode? We've been through this already. Um Favourite engine from the railway series. God. Sean. I don't know. Um Beer. Okay then. Matt. Bastard. <laughs> Matt. Um, answer, please. Spam can. Okay then. The one that Jake. looks cheek. Godred, because he died. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit hard. <laughs> um. I don't know. If I. I don't know. Edward. Because he's from the railway Stop series. Stop saying it? Edward to everything. No, Edward. Edward is best Edward. engine. Edward is the best. Um, your thoughts of the one episode slash season characters from the TV series, Sean. Unnecessary. Matt. Don't care. Jake. They look great in my wooden railway series. <laughs> um, personally, I think that definitely the earlier ones. Didn't, especially series five, apart from Cranky, really. It didn't do much, but the fans have fleshed them out quite a bit. Like Derek. Derek's a good example of a character who, who shouldn't Derek. have. He's not Derek even Derek. named! <laughs> That's the worst. He's a, he's a better character in Tales from the Other Railway. <laughs> yeah! Yes, he is. <laughs> that voice is utterly excellent. Uh, but Diesel. Diesel. I love you too, Diesel. Okay <laughs> uh, then. Can I call you Bugs, Sean? Yes. Well, hey, Jake. Thomas. Why not? Least favorite episode from Thomas episode seasons eight to twelve. I don't know. I haven't watched them. Haven't watched most of it, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I stopped watching after season seven. Jake. Um... Uh, they're all too bad. I, I have watched all of them, and they're all equally terrible. What do you think of my trains? I don't know. I can't say I've watched it. Have Wait, what is it? Exactly. Is it the Yoshi Punch has asked, what do you guys think of my trains remake? I'll admit right. I haven't watched it. Right. I actually took the liberty of checking it, and all the camera angles are too stationary and bland. Although the eyes moving was a nice touch. Um, because for once I'm going to be sincere about it. Okay. What Thomas character do you want to see in Trains? I know what Lewis wants. Your oh. mum. Sean? Ew. <laughs> um, what do I want to see in Trains? I don't know, because I've got to make it, and every time I think of something, it just sounds like a whole lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, Matt. Okay. And moving yeah, quickly. No, 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 it's... <laughs> hey, Dan, Dan. Ten minutes. I know. We're fine. Quickly, um, come on. Okay, then, fine. I you love to miss it. Off. You're going to uh, miss it. Ah! I and want I'm to definitely not stalling for time, so you know you, you'll miss it. Well, it's only, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can cope with this. Okay, go then, um, Matt. Go. I, I want to see Arthur in trains. I don't care about Matt's answer. It's taken too long. What okay. do you think of Chuck? I see whatever the number is on my way music video. I think it's good. Jake, I haven't okay. seen it, but sure. Sean, no idea. I haven't seen it. Matt, I like everything he does. What's your favourite Thomas and Tugsequin? Go back and listen to the earlier bit. What programme do you use to edit your videos together? Sony Vegas. Matt. Sony Vegas, I'll answer for him. Jake. Windows Movie Maker. Because yeah, Windows Maker. Because I'm poor. Sean, do you make videos? You make I have videos. Sony Vegas, if that counts. Yeah, that oh, counts. We'll, Matt's we'll died. That. That's nice. I, I d All the better for answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, considering there's only one left on this list. And that is, and that is, and I quote, 
seen when is that coming out? Well, I, I know what Seen O'Connor's next model is, guys. Do you? It's what's, stuck. What's it okay. like? People it, it, ask you it's what it's stuck. like. People ask me what it's like, and I said it's duck. That's what it's like. It is duck. It's duck. No, <laughs> the duck model is already out. Leave me alone. Duck <laughs> is so fucking overrated. I'm sick of it now. <laughs> so help me if it, some anyone asks me that sincerely once more, I will probably just stop making models altogether. Note I said sincerely. Our questions. That's. The end of the list. I think we'll wrap up then. That sounds good. Oh, oh, actually no. George has asked another question. <laughs> Keep asking questions. See, this is Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> to Sean, what would you like to aspire to now after your popularity in the community and your achievements? Um. Take your time, Ben. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Um, honestly, this whole popularity status within the community thing, I really want to downplay it because it's like, it buys into this sort of hierarchy thing, which I don't believe in. I think the sort the, the fact that there's a popularity contest and there's a hierarchy and there's people who think they're above other people and that there's, state, there's like a status quo, that is part leads to part of the problems within the community to begin with. Okay then. To me, how would you develop your own characters in future stories, Tom? I'd like to never go into that bit, that area that people call dark and dramatic and edgy ever again, because quite frankly, I hate it. I hate it so much. So yeah, everyone's gonna be fun. Jake, question. Yay. Why are you so awesome? I... I'm not, and whoever asked that is... Uh, I don't know. They're, they're full of delusions. I, I'm not that awesome. And Matt asked, Matt is asked, what's after the Scottish Twins? I think he mentioned to me at one point Henry the Green Engine. I... I, I yeah. I, I know what Matt's next video is. Is it Duck? It's Duck. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's Duck. People ask me what it's like. <laughs> It's, sorry, it's guys. Okay. I, 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 I'm so sorry. My internet kicked out. What are you doing after Twin Engines? Me? Yeah. What, oh. what are you making after Twin Engines? Uh, something no one's going to get to see to prove to you that Doctor Who can be done in Minecraft. Besides no, it that, can't. It can't. Besides Not that, well. we'll see. Besides that, I'm going to just continue on with the book. After after the book. What are you doing afterwards? Okay, after... I don't know, the Western Region or another book. Oh, Henry the Green Engine, that's it. Aha! Alright. I was right. Who asked uh, that? George. Damn you, George. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay. We've lost four viewers. I think... That's quite ironic because that means four people have gone off to watch Doctor Who in my mind. Probably. Yes, yeah. That's all that matters. It's true. Doctor Who and Thomas, nothing else in the world. Life is so much simpler if that were the case. Well, then, at any <laughs> rate, it's time to end, so thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you Goodbye! again in two weeks. Goodbye! And who knows who we'll have on, but more fun Sodor talks to come. So we'll all see you then. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>